Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd look at a privacy based tutorial. As more and more things migrate to the cloud and we're asked to sign into more and more accounts, I thought it might be a nice idea to try and reduce my digital footprint if at all possible in this day and age. I'm not particularly happy with the sheer amount of tracking that goes on as you move from site to site, so hopefully this tutorial will help you to reduce it. There are many choices of web browser out there. I've always liked Google Chrome because I just found it more responsive and user friendly than the others. Google has an open source software project called Chromium. Google Chrome is built on this software, as is Microsoft Edge and Opera. But as it's open source, it means that others can build browsers on it too and modify them as needed. Today we're going to look at a project called Ungoogled Chromium, which in layman's terms can be thought of as Chrome, but with all the communication with Google removed from it. It still looks and functions like Google Chrome, but it just sends less data back to the mothership. I'm going to show you how to download and install the browser, as well as some initial steps you might want to consider, as well as some popular add-ons to make your browsing experience that little bit harder to track. Now there's a fine line between locking your browser down so tightly that it breaks sites versus allowing some data to leak, but have the pages displayed correctly. It's up to each person to decide where that line should be. I'm just going to show you what I'm currently using and what works for me. All links to all the software I'm going to leave in the description below, so no need to panic if you missed a step. So without further ado, let's get into it. As you can see, I'm starting with a fresh, clean, debloated Windows 10 install. You can see on the channel my other video on how to debloat your Windows 10 so you can start with a fresh installation too, minus all the fluff and rubbish. Look how clean this is, that's all that's installed. I'm going to install ungoogled Chromium using Chocolatey, which is just awesome and saves so much time. For those of you not using Chocolatey yet, you can download and install the browser the traditional way from here. I'll show you the link. Again, it's going to be in the description, so don't panic. The installation instructions are relatively straightforward. You can read all about it here. I'm not going to take you through that. It's just downloading and hitting install. But like I said, I'm going to use Choco. PowerShell, run as admin. And it's just a case of Choco, install, ungoogled Chromium. Oop. Yes. And that's it. Just let it download and install. I'll speed this part of the video up so you don't have to sit and wait. And there we have it. It's installed. We'll close this down. We'll do a search for Chrome. And there we are. This is the icon for Chromium. So let's open it. There you go. I had this installed previously, so there's a few things left from, from some testing. And let's add this to the taskbar so we know where it is in the future. First off, let's go to settings. And we want to set our default search. So by default, there's no search. So that means if you type in the bar up here, nothing happens. But we're going to set that to DuckDuckGo which is basically, again, Google search, but hopefully without the reporting. I'm actually going to remove some of these other ones as well. I don't know where that came from. Remove that. Ecosia. Yahoo. Bye bye Bing. Horrid. Right, so we've got our default search bar here. So let's just type BBC. Yeah, it finds it. Duck, duck, go. No problem. Okay. Next step. Blocking stuff. So let's go to the settings, privacy and security, site settings. I'm not going to go through each and every one of these, or at least I will speed it up so you don't have to sit there. I do want to block third party cookies, and I do want to clear the cookies when I quit Chromium. Do I want to allow sites to save and read cookie data? I'm going to leave that as yes. Again, if there's some sites, you can you can get rid of them here, or exceptions rather, is probably a more correct term. And this is self-explanatory. I'll leave this with you guys. So we've set the default search to DuckDuckGo. We've set the block stuff. Now we want to be able to enable add-ons. So in order to do this, you need to go into advanced settings 
it's much easier just to copy and paste this in. Now by default, this is gonna show you as default. I want this to always prompt for installation. Let me relaunch. This will allow you to add the applets and extensions which you would have normally in Google Chrome. Without that step, you won't be able to add um, various uh, extensions apps that you like. So the next step is to get those apps. Now obviously we're not using Google Chrome so we won't be using the web store but there's a manual way of doing it. So if we go to a website like this so all we do is we go to the, the Chrome web store I have the links here and then you just have to find your favorite ads or your favorite applets rather not ads. So let's look for uBlock. This is a good ad blocker, uBlock Origin. So we look at that one and then you just copy the address, paste it in here, hit once for download, twice to get CRX and then just wait and then there should be a pop-up window that comes here shortly. Should, there you go. Do you want to add it? Yes, I do. Add the extension, and within a second or so, it should just pop up here. Let me just see if I've got them turned on. More tools, extensions. There you go. Oh, I had some already installed. I'll take you through another one and then I'll, I'll switch them on uh, manually so that you can see which ones. So, the other one, another one I like is Privacy Badger. You can read up on what all of these do individually if need be. But again, copy the URL. Once the download, twice to get the CRX, and then just wait for it for a second. And then add extension. And normally it would pop up here. It, it's not on mine because I already removed them because I, I went through this earlier. So if I just go back to extensions and turn them back on, these are the ones I like. So cookie auto delete, Privacy Badger, which we just went through. Excuse me. Uh, DuckDuckGo Privacy Essentials. And then HTTPS Everywhere, which is quite self explanatory. And there you sit, they should be there on the top. Oh, that one needs to be reinstalled. Not a problem. Let me just reinstall this quickly. you're up and running so you've got bookmarks everything the same you can you can import bookmarks from Chrome so you don't lose anything let's close all this down so let's go for uh, BBC and you can see here you'll begin to see what was tracking you and what's being blocked Block 12 things there, six there, seven there. And this was where I had the Daily Mail earlier. Daily Mail was notorious. Look at this. As it goes through, everything is blocking in the top right corner. I also have skysports.com is another good one. I like this, I, I, I use it. I've been using it for a month or so now. I've not had any problems. It's responsive. I don't have the fastest internet connection in the world, but I mean, it keeps up with everything else. Anyway, I hope you found this useful. Hopefully this will allow you to protect at least some of your data from prying eyes. If you did find it useful, throw it a like. And if you're interested in other videos, do check out the channel. In particular, I recommend you check out the chocolatey video for those not familiar with Choco. It makes life so much easier in terms of installing and maintaining applications. That's all from me. Take care, guys. Cheers.